Now page four, removing the Constitution from the confirmation equation. Do we hear any Democrat member of the United States Senate talk about the constitutional process of advice and consent? Oh sure, they might mention it in passing, but do they really understand, embrace, and respect the solemn constitutional process? Clearly the answer is no. They have zero respect for what the framers gave to this republic. But the Republicans, they're just as culpable because of ignorance, apparently. Do the Republicans understand what is at stake here? It's not Judge Brett Kavanaugh, nor is it a seat on the high court. At stake is our civil society and our rule of law. In this country, the process matters. How we adjudicate people and matters is crucial. There is a process for criminal proceedings and civil matters, and there is a constitutional process. And all of it, all of it does matter. The modern Republican Party has allowed the modern Democrat Party to corrupt and degrade the judicial nomination process as prescribed by the Constitution. And leading the charge up this tyrannical hill is this know-nothing senator from Hawaii, Maisie Hirano. In addition to making misleading statements, which is a pattern with Judge Kavanaugh... Stop, Tate. No, no, the pattern is with the Democrat Party. We still don't know and we still do not have an answer from this woman, the senator from Hawaii, how the letter from the accuser, from Ford, the accuser, was released to the mainstream media and to the public. How was it released? We, we know, essentially, the chain of custody, uh, and that is... Ford wrote the letter, and then she said she gave it to a member of Congress, and that member of Congress said that she gave it to Dianne Feinstein, and Feinstein presumably gave it to Chuck Grassley, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. And Grassley wouldn't release it, and Ford said under oath that she did not release the letter publicly or to the mainstream media. So that leaves two suspects. Both of them are Democrat, and one of them is on the Judiciary Committee. We still don't know the truth, and this is part of a larger pattern from the modern Democrat Party to leak to the mainstream media this kind of damaging information, uncorroborated, no witnesses, no testimony to corroborate what the woman wrote about and what the woman testified about. Yet the Democrat Party is going to release it to try and destroy this nominee. Roll tape. Accuse the Democratic senators of coordinating a plot to sabotage his nomination. Stop tape. Of course it's a plot. A nefarious plot hatched by Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Democrats in the United States Senate. And really Chuck Schumer is de facto leader of the Democrat Party right now. Chuck Schumer knows how this works. And it worked beautifully under the Bush administration during the judicial nomination process for lower court judges. Many times during the Bush administration, Schumer was able to destroy or delay the process of judicial nominations to the point where the nominee either dropped out or uh, eventually was, was never confirmed. So he knows how this is done. And the fact that this letter was released at the 11th hour very near the vote of the Judicial Committee, tells you something very simple. And that it was part of an orchestrated effort to try and destroy the nomination. This was a process that was devised to try and torpedo Brett Kavanaugh, and in the process, of course, try and torpedo the 45th President of the United States. Because remember, this is not just about Brett Kavanaugh. In the process of destroying this nominee, they're also trying to destroy the credibility, and in any way possible, the 45th president of the United States. But in this partisan political process of trying to destroy the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh and trying to destroy the presidency of Donald Trump, they are attacking, degrading, and potentially destroying pieces of our very sacred founding document, the United States Constitution. And that is what is at stake here. It's not about Hirano, Senator Hirano from Hawaii. It's not even about Judge Kavanaugh. It's not about the United States Supreme Court. It's about our process, our constitutional process that is now possibly 
permanently corrupt by the modern Democrat Party. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.